Hello, everybody. Hello, I am Nordrenok, and welcome to Points of Light. I will be the dungeon master for, for we will play Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition with some house rules, set in the world of Eberron. And today is no camera day except for me, because oh, because a lot of us have camera issues. Yeah, it's it's that it's that kind of thing. Is yeah, is everybody here? Just wanna make sure. Yeah, maybe. I'll take that as a yes then. Anyway, um it's been a bit of a hot minute since, since we last played, especially on a few details over the past several weeks, so um if I got some some details wrong, that's on me. Um, okay, so who's up for a recap? <clears throat> I mean, everyone probably is. Yeah. Last time on X Men. Yeah, after taking care of the mess uh, in the High Walls district, the four of you made your way to the Civil Mist Theater in, in the Calisthene district. There, you ask a, a few people around for, for information, including a half of a boy, around uh, eight years old, named Lori. The boy was worried about his father, whom he hasn't seen in about a day or so. As you made your way to, uh, to the back room inside the theater, which appeared to be some sort of moss-like forest with doped out users and addicts just dreaming out weird, uh, con dreaming out uh, country of weird things with their dreams. As you do. Amongst As one do. does. Yeah, uh, uh, amongst them was Hawkeye's spirit, M Mutal. He needed your help in deactivating the artifacts, the chains to Mut Mutal, and the mind's eye. The issue? There was a, a, a gnome that turned to a miniature version of Karn the Conqueror, along with others conjuring dream really, um, uh, 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 copies of various monsters, including a baby little illithid. Again, as you do. Which you took off, uh, you, which you took off the issue by making a beeline for the artifacts. Zoria, you traced the hot goblin steps by dancing. With all that done, uh, you found the, the boy's father, whom you called him out on his ne negligence, along with giving him some advice, which he really took to heart. And then you leave for, for oh, your almost, you, forgot, you forgot the threat. We're basically... And almost, and almost literally a threat. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. We told basically that. a threat to, to, um, to get his shit together, or else. That you did. That you did. Basically, he'd get turned into Arse Face from the Preacher comic if he fucks up again. You know, yeah. as you do. Get better, or we're going to literally give you a kick in the teeth to get better. Oh my god, son of you people. Anyway, and that is uh, where you are right uh, now. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I'm on the right page. Um, so you made your way over to the Morgrave University in, uh, the cli uh, near Clifftop. Let me double check, uh, to see where, uh, the, where the Morgrave University is at, just to make sure. As you recall, one of the, uh, words that, uh, that, that the Prophet has written in, in the manifesto was Morgrave. Yeah, yeah. In the in the Upper Memphis, um, in the University District, in the Densa Museum of Antiquit, uh, anti uh, quidates, Antiquits. Oh it's my! Ah. Oh. Words are hard. Yeah. So actually, it's not the uh, it's not the High Walls District, but uh, but the Smoky Towers District. My apologies. Yeah, for the high walls, it's in the Smoky uh, Towers district. As for the uh, Silver uh, Mist Theater, it's actually just in, in, in the Calisthean uh, district. Okay. 
it's a floor down from where we need to go. Why didn't you go there I mean, up, first? Down, up, up. We're going up, so it should yeah. be up instead of. More grave is up. <laughs> yep, more grave down. is up. Up, down, up, down. Oh, well, the enemy gate is down. A magnificent uh, covered bridge covers, uh, connects the uh, university pr uh, proper to the rest of the building, a bustling district. All around you, students hustle about carrying he hefty tomes and arcane implements. The hill is docked by uh, tiny constructs and brightly colored familiars. The enormous dome of Lareth Hall dominate, uh, dominates the vast university, ringed by five beautiful spires. Apparatus, um, Abe. You have been there before to break in to to visit Flamewind to inquire of uh, the nature of the Oracle of War. As you step off the bridge into more grace ground, apparatus, you see a familiar, frowzled uh, female uh, field bog in former academic rogues and a pelted portent hat approaching you. Oh. This is one of the people that I dealt with for with uh, learning about the Feywild, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, apparatus. Oh, it's good to see you again. Likewise. Well, as it all as it, as it all as it turns out, weird things have happened, and well, you know, Flamewind, the, uh, the Sphinx Oracle, in the uh, in the uh, who resides in the uh, in the college's hall. She asked you for your help. And she told me where to find uh, you and exactly when. This is uh, like even stranger than uh, than uh, than Thelanus, if you ask me. And she you're surprised that an oracle was able to tell you where to find me and when. You know, standard things that oracles I know. do. <laughs> With almost exact precision, I might add. Yeah, I mean, fixes are known for that. I know. Mm. You step. I still never get used to that. And she look, and she suddenly uh, looks concerned. Um, if Warforged couldn't blink, Apparatus would just be giving her just this blank stare, just slow blinking. Right. And then she starts showing with concern. Like I said, I just found out. That, I just learned that the scene provost. I put that in quotes because I've been hearing that this provost. Has been kicked out for for, oh, for some out there ideas, which is information us. that would have been useful about tw yesterday. <laughs> Twenty four hours ago, yeah. Information that would have been useful before we did the first fucking job. Apparently, <sighs> tell basic you background checks are something that the Clifftop Adventurers Guild needs to get better at. You and me both. Anyway, he he sent the uh, he sent us a gift that doesn't really even teach us much at the university, and that gift, that treasure, placed in the libraries, turns out to be a uh, 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 a hell of a ru uh, ruse. It's an extra planar artifact that woke up whatever magic energies it's got going on, and now it's sort of an apocalypse inside. Yes. No. Same shit, different district. Yep. Yep. We've Dealing done this, this like five times today. Can can we get in to fix the problem? Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, though I should uh, let you know a few things. Um. Okay. Uh, so this. So I gotta tell you before we before we jump in. So you know what's uh, so you can know as much as uh, so you know as much as you can, you know. Okay. Um. Th there's a. Uh, we had some time displacement repeatment issues. How'd you know? I have Madman's book. Huh. Yeah. That sounds about right. Let me clarify on that. So so there's there's a. Uh, uh, let me clarify to see, uh, see that confirms your your suspicions. There is a strange device that's acting up in one of the libraries. Flamewind went in to vis investigate it and telling me to send for you. She has forbidden all other entrance. 
She didn't really say why, only that your actions were critical to, to correct you these strange happenings. And then, she stepped in the midst of it, and time froze. Just before she entered, Flame once said that the device has changed the flux of time inside the room. A bit of uh, this is not my field, uh, my field of, uh, of study, but it looks like, well, time is frozen there, as you know, your submissions would uh, have confirmed. And now Flame would have entered, she is doomed to repeat the same moment over and over and over. That kind of Most mortals tend to do that. Well, regardless, we need to go in there whether we have to do this over and over again or not. Well, we should we should probably head in, though. It seems that time repeats itself and is slash frozen. Time out here still continues, so we need to get going. Okay. Do I have disable magic prepared? Any luck, we get to go back to the start when we end this. Play. Arriving at a dub, uh, double bronze wood door to the end of the hall, uh, of a hall. the field book professor takes a leave. Aria, be with you, and good luck! She nervously darts away. Peering inside the doors, uh, you see the uh, library um, as a moment frozen in time. Nothing more than a deeply detailed painting. Leaflets of paper hang in the air. Of screen much detail as the little child inside has shredded up uh, dozens of books into large confetti. There are many tall bookshelves, one of them topped uh, top by a uh, long shadowy figure, half hidden by the unmoving floating parchment. And you see other students just like peering, other students, professors, and teachers, like and other staff just like peering in with a little nervous, just glancing at each other, then at you. It's just, oh, it's these four. And, uh, yeah, they 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 got this. One of them says, "Get to a shelter, you fucking fools." We got sh we got shelters at the university. We got this. <laughs> and most of them, uh, yeah, I'm not you're getting to them. like you want to be collateral damage. Get the hell out. Your books aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, would would any of you like to roll an Arcana check? <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 no. I want to be using... Don't click the thing that was last night's session. I'm going to use this one, plus 13. Okay. It's die roller. Plus. Fingers crossed. Yeah, especially because I'm out of charges for my... Oh, no. Ring. There, 25. 25 makes it. Um... Okay. You, uh, you, uh, well, as, as, as the professor says earlier, it, the room, uh, it's, uh, time is frozen, and the room is held in a temporal flux from a powerful, uh, from powerful extra, extra planner, uh, forces. By your guess, um, it could, by your guess, that could, that sounds like something similar to a mix of conjuration and transmutation magic, though, you're not quite sure without something like tech magic, but you're pretty confident. I mean, I have to tech magic. Yeah, you can do that and like uh, and uh, spend ten minutes. So after this, after taking care of this, you would have. Right. Yeah. My character believe we have time for ten minutes. Good point. We we'll probably have time as long as I do it outside. <laughs> Why is your ritual taking four hours? Why aren't you answering? I, oh shit! Alrighty. Are you uh, are you ready to step inside the t uh, uh step inside? I mean, my character was ready to step inside the moment we got here. So okay. Be uh, be as 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 he like study uh, what's what's going on and stuff. You see Zoria step inside, and for a moment. She was oh, like was like frozen along with the rest of the room. I'd say something about spaghettification, but I don't think even an apparatus would have any kind of concept of a blue ball. Actually, no, would not have any tr real understanding of black holes. So it's everyone. You never know. I mean, there's things that mimic like a little bit. 
various spells that, you know, suck in things. So, um... Do the rest of you step in. I'm going to poke my head in if you just kind of stop the door. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have a hard time getting your head out because you're now in the time zone. It's either in or out. But we're gonna, I'm going to try and look. You know what happens to me when I'm in here. Apparently I'm frozen to you guys. Yep. I'd like to know, uh, what happens to blood flow when you just stick your head in? You feel oh, really God. weird. Let's figure it out. <laughs> you feel really. Y y have you ever seen? <laughs> Suddenly, you hemorrhage out of every possible vein in your head. Yeah, yeah. So you basically like, like you got like pulled into the time zone, um, Abe. Oh, so it's a one way. Wait, can I still see them outside? Does telepathy still work? Um, it doesn't say. I'm trying to cover it how that would work. It's like. Nothing seems uh, okay. When you try to use a telepathy, nothing seems to be work. Nothing seems to work outside the time zone, the frozen time zone. I mean, right, let's do the time zone again. All right, do the, the uh, whimper apparatus. Do you do you uh, do you walk inside the uh, time zone? Yeah, sure. I guess that's what we're supposed to be doing now. The bubble just kind of. Alrighty. <laughs> um. Apparatus, you too. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. You kind of like you look as the rest uh, as the rest of your allies just like step in, and fr and like froze inside the room. Kind of like look <laughs> like stare stare blankly into uh, and you were like, eh. You step into as you step uh, as you all step through the doorway. Well, my plan didn't work. <laughs> as you all step through the doorway, time within the t library leaps into motion. Books and sheaves of paper float around the room in a flurry. Several wide uh, book sh uh, bookshelves surround the circular uh, reading area. Well, not according to the map, uh, mini map that I got, so apologies. Uh, where this uh, storm of scrolls and papers is most concentrated. At the center of the script uh, cyclone is a complex metal device, floating in mid air while spinning rapidly. It flickers with bolts of pure and arcane energy in a myriad of colors. Outside the eye of the storm, then unfurl of scrolls and loose sheets of paper whip around, coalescing into an ominous humanoid shape, with two pinpoints of arcane light glowing where eyes should be. Um, a voice shouts from one of the bookshelves. They look up to see a familiar large creature uh, perched on the up top shelf, familiar to Abe and Apparatus, with a long leonine, a leonine form and face like a uh, lovely elven scholar. Two feathered wings unfurl and the dark type of strips upon her body and wings ripple like red fire. The Sphinx, Flame Wind, speaks crypt, uh, uh, quickly and cryptically. Clip top, <coughs> oh, sorry. Clip top arise to nefarious fate. To close the uh, breach or seal Sharon's fate. Questions asked must be my price to disengage this elch device. Hope the uh, guardian if you're able, but know that this woman is not stable. If you fall or answers abstain, this sequence shall repeat again. Knowledge within will outravel these crimes. We've had the discussion a dozen times. Oh God, we've had, we've been, we've done this before already. God yeah, damn! Paradis goes. Uh, I didn't loops. figure it out the first time. Uh oh, time loops. Who doesn't have those? All right. So she said. Could you type out what she said, please? Oh Anyone sure. Have to stop. <laughs> Oh sure. Uh, give me a moment. I'll type. I'll type it down in the. I thought it was clear. Anyone, I thought I could spell clearly anyone, on that. It is clear, but in yeah. five minutes, when we're still thinking about it, it will be less clear. Yeah. Um. Or in it five was minutes, my ADHD. I've literally already forgotten. <laughs> um. What what spell were you asking about? If anyone had stop. Time stop. Is it? Yeah. And by the way, before I get things for, I need to like switch music because. Before to see how that worked out. <laughs> You're in combat again. Joy. I don't know when it's got time stop because we haven't used it. Time stop is time a stop level ninth level spell. <laughs> oh what? Yeah. I thought it was slow. Slow is. I thought, uh, war, it's a, I thought it was a spell warlocks got at a high at a bit of a higher level, but it's like a, you could an there's an invocation to cast it once I think. 
Alright, so... Alright, everybody roll initiative. Basically creates a bubble of time. Not and moving. she's just there just like observing. Alright, so apparatus rolled a 19. Oh, initiative? Yes, initiative time. Okay, uh, I'm going first. All right, so uh, you always go first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in front of the bad guys too. Is that like, crit? Even at <laughs> twenty, that's only a twenty-four. <laughs> Here's a only a twenty-four compared to my twenty-nine. Mm. We're so so twenty-three. <laughs> to be fair, I can't get a twenty-nine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't roll twenty four. I said at my at my max, I couldn't oh. be, go before. <laughs> Wait, so what's yeah, your no, I rolled initiative? a nineteen. My plus two initiative. It's four. No, no, yeah, I know yours is four, but hey, what a five! I've got plus eight. Oh, plus eight. Okay. I was running under the assumption that it was plus five, plus four, wow. or. Something. I rolled very high. Uh, I'm one dex oh, wow. point away from 12. getting a pl getting plus nine. Nice. Yeah, twelve. That's that's above average. <laughs> Looks like I'm going before a creature that is probably not the creature that is normally represented by that uh, token. Alrighty. Um. Where are we up here? Oh, here we go. We're fighting a living spell scroll. Yeah, so oh, that, that image normally is supposed to represent a creature that is made from dozens of phylactery scrolls from killed liches to serve a more powerful lich. Oh. That was it was from like Monster Manual three back in the third edition days. Wait, 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 mm. so it's a it's a it's for Highlander Lich, basically? Kinda, yeah. Well, not a Highlander Lich, the servant of a Highlander Lich. Yeah, no, I mean, I, well, yeah, it's the servant, but I was just thinking of, there could only be one. Yeah. <laughs> fun oh, there we go. I forgot to switch. But it's, it's, it's in the free art that's for the, on the DMs Guild that you can just use in other products, so... There we go. Um, I got the map up, and, and for just to let you all know, the the map does not match the description of the uh, uh of the module. My apologies, everyone. Oh well, Fine. we'll work with what you we got. Son of a bitch! How could you? <laughs> All right, so Abe, you go first. Um, wait, is that the token that you're using for for the Sphinx? Yes. When when that lovely image from Dragon's Dogma Two is available now? Oh God! Wait, what? In in the uh, main yeah, just go to the main campaign, campaign thing. Campaign, I, I posted the gif. I posted of, a gif of the Sphinx from Dragon's Dogma Two. You she is beautiful and sir. creepy, and I love her. <laughs> it's it's not fucking peanut butter. <laughs> okay, so oh, campaign. No, not there either. Main campaign. Main D &D campaign. main campaign. The, it's the above. Thread. It's oh. above. <laughs> oh, nice. I like it. Yeah, no, she just turns her head sideways, stares at you intensely, smiles with all of her teeth showing, goes through the who wants to be a millionaire, like, are you sure that's the answer you want to give me? And then, like, <laughs> leans her face forward. <laughs> oh, we need to get this game card. Wait until they really? patch out all of the bullshit. Well, I have to wait anyway until, uh, so we uh, time loop. So do we have a? Like, I keep on wanting to go back and finish the first one, but like it's it's really hard to explain. But I love everything about Dragon's Dogma except playing the game. Are you playing? What the... I didn't like was the micromanagement you need to do for level up. Oh, um, oh yeah. Before, so before we before we get things forward, um, uh, uh, deficit. Do you have the game on on the computer? You can get my high no. You can get my pawn. I, I don't. Okay, so um, my my computer is probably not powerful enough to play Dragon's Dogma Two. I was I was referring to Dark Dragon's Dogma One. 
Oh, yeah. No, I, I have it on the PlayStation 4. Ah, pity. Anyway, I've got hey. Dragon's Dogma on every console I own. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's 90% off. Get it for this one now. Anyway, a Minecraft method. <laughs> All right, a it's your I've turn. Got a bunch of the Fallout games for every game. I've got some from Epic, some from. I'm good at games. I've got Fallout 3 on the Xbox 360. Yeah. Epic a and Steam. Uh, anyway, let's get uh, let's get on with this, okay? Yeah. Okay, so we're time. Do we do we know where? Probably not. There's probably too much in the way for us to see. Oh no, we have seen it. Where's where's the machiney thing? Yeah, we, we saw it and then she gave her little riddle speech spiel thing. Yeah, where's the machiney thing we need to shut down? Yeah, it's the, uh, so the uh, machine, uh, so the uh, ouch machines are right around here. And. Is it on the table, floating in the air? Probably floating in the air, right? How heavy is the machine? Oh, uh, by the way, the. um. Sure the uh, the artifacts. Uh, oops, on page. <laughs> the artifacts mm -hmm. are the quintessence oh, engine tied to um, oh. Kithri, and the other thing Sorry. tied to uh, tied to Tiffany. Uh Could you say that again, please? I was. I, I, um, the quintessence yes. engine tied to um, uh, uh, Kithri of uh, the plane of chaos. Basically, the plane of chaos. Where, whereas uh, the uh, other vein, no, either plane of order. Yes. So the plane of chaos and the plane of order, because they mirror each other. All right. Uh, how heavy is the mechanism? Um, Zoria, you recall that you were able to fit them in a bag of holding. So we, I have okay, so fit somewhere several under... of them in my bag of holding, but they're all about the size, same size. No, uh, size is not the important. It's weight. So they're like under eight hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's like physical descriptions of Jesus. Well, we know that he was larger than a baby, but also small enough to fit in the temple to go whip the bankers. Yeah, I'm saying we don't have a gauge on this. I'm guessing. Um, Probably light enough for one you, person to hold. She's telling you a riddle. Flamewood is telling you a riddle. A new one or the same one from before? The same one that, that she just told you. You gotta figure out what that riddle is. What the answer to that riddle oh. is. We have okay. Three riddles. <laughs> well, she'll tell, she tell you a new riddle uh, at the end of the round, but... Yeah. All right. Let me double so check. She, but she just... Okay, she just so... restates the riddle? Uh... She she starts with that with that phrase I pasted in the in the chat, and then she may tell she may or may not tell you a new uh, new phrase of the riddle. Anyway, so hey, it's your it's your go. What do you want to do? I mean, it looks like she's just summing up what's happening. <laughs> so, uh. I mean, if the, the the machine's floating in the air, right? Uh, so I probably want to get up to it, right? Seems smart. Get up there, try and shut it down. Contestant's engine. A floating midair, yeah, it's floating midair while spinning rapidly, flicker, flickering, flickering with a bolt of pure arcane energy in a myriad of colors. It's probably going to be really hard for you to grab uh, to grab the damn thing. Even when you're on your broom. Okay, wait. Mm. So is, is, oh, is, to... is, is Stormwind insinuating that Flamewind. we're allowed to ask her questions about how to defeat the thing? Since the questions asked must be my price to disengage the Eldritch device? That is what she, that is what she told you. Uh, I mean, she, that, I mean I just, right. I'm trying to make sure that I am understanding that correctly. Well, I mean, it's a free action to say something. <laughs> yes and no, but... Four score and seven years ago. Our forefathers. Anyway. Connor, is is that how the, the it works? Yeah. Like, I'm trying to ask, 
You can that, try to no. ask uh, ask questions or answer a riddle that she that she says. She hasn't asked the riddle yet. Nothing in what she has said is a riddle. She's necessarily. just said something very cryptic. I, I'm I'm trying to make sure that I, as the player, understand what's happening in character. Uh, or if it is, like, I mean, if it's if it's meant to be obtuse, and I'm not supposed to understand it as a player, that's also fine. I just. I've been trying to make sure it's up. It's a little obtuse, but she's referring to the uh, to uh, to basically she's hitting the time loops and more. You know that, that part got, is clear. Yeah. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> that that's why Amber's response was, and I didn't solve it the first time. <laughs> anyway, um, Abe, what do you want to um, do? I have a very stupid idea. <laughs> What's the that's idea? <laughs> what if I were to fly up there and put it in a mat in a box that blocks magic? So, I mean, are you are you saying that like I don't know the answer to the question that I asked out of character? Yeah, I don't know the answer to that out of uh, I was, uh um. Okay. Okay. Out of character. I, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Uh, like at least the directions that I'm supposed to go, yeah, and I don't, I yeah, don't the end know. Of the, yeah, the end, uh, the end of the round, I'll let you, I'll let you all know. We get another hint at the end of it, okay, end of the round. You said maybe, so. All right. Anyway, I'm Abe, what do you want to do? We'll just... I'm going to say the book, the bookshelves are about thirty feet up. Now thirty, sixty. Are we talking? Are you saying that we basically got Beast's library here? What's look, for, look, look, look for the for the rolling ladders. Sorry, what? Beast's library from Beauty and the Beast. How it, it had those ladders that Bell was like writing. A lot of big libraries have that. All right, I, ju I just put the uh, circle rep representing the artifacts on the map. Anyway, we don't see oh, that's a lot there. bigger. They're in the air. Yeah, it's a, it's They're a zone. The it's a, it representing this the uh, this magical weird zone that it's in. Oh, there go my glasses. It also says if we fail, we fall or answers. Assuming answers wrong. And everything repeats again. So this is why you needed us to tell you all your our spell slots and shit. Because we needed to lock that in. Yeah. Because uh, I assume that if it repeats, we go back to what we had before. Yep. Yeah. Which means use all your high level abilities now and then intentionally fuck it up so we can be more efficient next time. All right, Abe, come on. Yeah, I'm working. Okay. Now, when you said put it in a box that stops magic, I assume you mean your cube of force? Yes. If I do a level five cube of force, it would contain the thing within a box that magic can't escape from. Uh, except for this is a plot-based magical effect, which might work differently. Yeah. So, you know, that's why I said it's, there's a chance it's this very stupid idea, because it might just um, contain the time loop on me. <laughs> oh, Which then, probably wouldn't end well. Yeah, because then only... You wouldn't be able to move it anywhere. All we've done is put it... It's the permanent floaty box. Yep. Th this is, this is uh, the living statue of Abe. He sacrificed himself to save Sharn temporarily on a permanent basis. Yeah, I know that that that's that's contradictive. 
I don't give a shit. <laughs> Anyway, so if I go around here, and I see both of these guys. Um, one that's behind that bookshelf. You don't. You only see this guy. Okay. What about over here? Um, I put, um, kind of barely. Um, did, did you like move? Okay. As long so as I can see both of them, I would. Did, did, I'll, did like I'll map it out later. Just let me. I'm trying to figure out where I can stand to see both of them. So did you like move like this? I'm. At, I'll map out my movements later. I wouldn't move stupidly. I'm just. I'm, I'm just gonna meander around. Asking a question. I will. I will say in in Nord's defense, you wouldn't know there's something behind there until you moved where you are. Uh, so uh, like, if you went the way you would, you would wouldn't know that there's something behind the bookshelf. What would you? Since yeah, it's worked so, every other time, I'd probably just. Try and book it. Yeah, you can dash with a bonus action. I want to see where this is going. I, I didn't mean to do that. So I probably book it. Bonus action. Get around here. Then I'd see that thing. Hi. Uh, And I changed plans thinking this might be more useful. Okay, did you... Because okay. I'm not exactly the best Arcana person. <laughs> so, I'll get here. Yeah, you I can, can see both of them, I think. How big they are. Right? Yeah, they're... They're pretty big. I can okay. just imagine Abe goes around that first bookshelf and see... How, how tall is that scroll monster? <laughs> it's it's a long scroll. No, no, not, not the long. No, the the lower one. Oh, it's uh, it's twice as big as you are, so pretty big. I mean, it would be eight times as big as him if if it's literally ten by ten by ten. Oh yeah. Anyway, um, so Just eight. Go around the corner. What the. Fuck is that? Okay, got two giant monsters, and I'm gonna try and hold them in place. <laughs> Move so y'all can get around. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna need both of them to make a, a saving throw. How wisdom. are you get up? Uh, uh, the book is the bookshelf is in the way. How are you able to see it? Uh, how you able I can to see it? both of them. Like the bookshelf is isn't like, okay. So the bookshelf, uh, the bookshelves are about thirty uh, feet tall. They're Can about five feet wide. The corners. How, how they, they're I, about five feet wide. Can how I you, not how, see you, both how of them? would you get your your spell go through the spell book? Uh, uh, through it's the cause, uh, it's cause fear. Cause fear. They okay. just need to see me. Okay, both need to make a uh, a saving throw. Oh, are they constructs? Um. Read the spell first. Are they constructs? I would assume yes. either that or living spells. Well, well, yeah. the flurry, the flurry writing that you see, there's like, there's like a swarm. It's like a swarm of uh, like scrolls and papers. Yeah, they're constructs. Okay. If I can tell they're constructs just by looking at them, then that's uh, no for that spell. Read first. Always a good idea. <laughs> uh, I'll hold off this guy. All right. All right, let's get there. Let's see how he likes it. Oh, yeah. Um. Then I guess I'll swing at him. All right. Maybe. Go ahead to make a. Uh... Go ahead and, and and make a uh, um, uh, make an attack. No. Eighteen. 
Um, eight, 18 hits to the, uh, the scrolls. Go ahead and roll damage. Sixteen points of damage. Sixteen. Um, you slash at uh, at 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 these writings, tearing through the paper like nothing. But it, but some of the uh, uh swarm, uh, but some of the uh, uh papers are so are so like flying around. Would that be your turn? Right. Okay, I've got the paper dragon. Somebody get to the machine and turn it off. Zoria, it's now your turn. Before I look at her and ask if we need to actually uh, take down the what'd she call them? The guardian to help end this effect. Hang on a sec. Uh, and she she kind of like sighs and says, "The best I can do is to ask." Uh, uh, you for the answers to the riddles to help you find the books that you need to destroy the uh to destroy this frozen time zone. But as We're a, a, looking for books. Okay, we okay, got a target now. That's useful. <laughs> uh, uh, to destroy this place uh to zone uh uh this uh to lift this place from being frozen in time so it's not taking down the girl oh, this is out of character uh this is not taking we're not supposed to take down the guardians we're supposed to find the books that yes yeah destroy the books supposed to find books that is connected to what's going on here Uh, okay, so, uh, then that actually changes what I'm gonna do. Okay. So I'm gonna use my bonus action to uh, use key to step of the wind to run farther than I sh farther than I can originally. <laughs> this yeah. yeah, that's a fun comparison. <laughs> I just thought of a fun comparison. And yeah. I'm going to... Oh, well, it doesn't actually work. And here... Hmm. And uh, at, I look... As you, as you sit past one of the bookshelves, you hear, you hear like, a bunch of books, uh, books just, like, uh, uh, like, uh, like, slamming shut and open and shut and open and shut before something slams into you. So it is going to make an attack uh, with advantage against you. So this thing isn't defenseless. <laughs> isn't defenseless. There's uh, a twenty. There's a twenty. Hold on, hold on. I gotta look at an ability. Uh, Oops. No, I will use a charge of protecting wings to wrap around myself for it to miss. Okay. As as one of the books uh it's like to have you join the book club by slamming by having one of the books slam. <laughs> My gosh, that's a joke that I mean in Pillars of Eternity. <laughs> Because wizards can smack people with their book to knock them back ten feet. <laughs> and I literally said, welcome to the book club, smack. Easy one-liners. Well, I pass a, a book. <laughs> yeah, you, you you use the wings to knock off one of the books off of you. Yeah, the, my, the wings that come out occasionally just 
flash pop wrap around themselves and then disappear. It yeah. Blocks I, the attack. It is now in the initiative order. Oh. No, no, the evil book. Yeah, I won't initiate for them in ahead of time. Wait, the book's turn, not mine? That makes me sad. Nope. Uh, no? This one actually uh, goes after you. Yeah. He's got one less than you. So, actually, can I, since I, I'm going to stop from being hit, no. and then, it looks like it, oh, oh, forgot to put it right here. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step here, and... I'm gonna just attempt to- does this- this book looks di different than the other books that aren't doing anything, obviously, other than- You're not quite sure, me. they're just- uh, the book's the books. They're, they're just it's look just like- book. a book that's floating. Actually, okay. a bunch of books. Well, I'm gonna slash, hopefully this does something to- I'm doing this to see if this actually has any reaction, um... Because I found out that it's books we need to deal with. So I'm going to attack this book. Hopefully it will books. do something. Yeah, books. I know books, but this is whatever. And the token's just one. Yeah, I didn't do a good job of capturing the oath with the sheer amount of books. Anyway, go roll attack. That's a... Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, yeah. Thirteen points of slashing damage. Okay, you slash. Why did you pick up the books in half with one with one swing? The swarm of books still up? Yes. Uh, uh, 22. 22 hits. 12 points of slashing. Okay. Uh, there are a lot less books to take, uh, uh, they'll, they'll be attacking you, but books are flying books are flying books. Mm -hmm. That's I'm an interesting going question. To... Does he do less damage? I'm gonna that's attack cool, it one funny. more time with my fist. Okay, I'm trying to imagine how would a fist kill these books, but you do you. You punch it so hard the spine explodes. Just so you know, you are all very lucky that this is happening outside of Apparatus's field of vision. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zoria, what, 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 how does the character, how does the character feel in say? my book. Mending exists. Mending, uh, mending takes not a minute. Not for magical things. Twenty. What if they're not? Well, mending? no, no, they can be mended, but they're not magical anymore. <laughs> they lose their magical properties. At least that's how some of the DMs I've played with do it. Um, and you're gonna really hate what I do next, then. Again, it's a good thing. <laughs> this is in self-defense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be easier to, for apparatus to deal with the aftermath of it as long as they don't see it. 26 right. to hit. 26 lost. hits. Mm -hmm. That's it. You're going to Oh, that's... Um, ten points of bludgeoning damage. Pow, 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 pow! You punch the spines of the books out, and it fall and, uh, and the books fall to uh, f uh, uh flutter to the ground, torn apart. Um, sliced and disorganized, but not really torn. 
uh, slice and disorganized. It's gonna be a lot. I'm going to continue into the area that I was going to, and um, I can wait until my next turn, but I do want to look around for uh, any like books that stick out where the artifacts are. Uh, but wait a minute, so how many times did you attack? Did you use Step of the Wind as a bonus action? Wait. Oh, I did. Didn't y I? Yep. Then I would you not have... have... Yeah. You don't have three? Okay. Yep. I don't I don't have the bonus action. Yep. I had forgotten. That's okay. Yes. Well, yeah. Oh, we wanted that. We wanted that. It didn't work. <laughs> you didn't get it. It did, it did not did. work. It did not work. Anyway, would that be your turn? That's fine. Yeah, that's my turn. Apparatus, now your turn. You're hearing, you're hearing like book flapping and closing and opening and wham. And Zoria is like, Zoria, how? What was your reaction when you got hit by these books? I don't like this book flap. <laughs> it, was, it was a sudden like appearance of a book that smacked me. Um, I probably would have said, "What the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, she doesn't usually say stuff like that, but, like, it was just, like, suddenly a book just flew out of the bookshelf and smacked, or attempted to smack her, and it was the, the WTF moment. <laughs> yeah, a lot this of... library always want to kill us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so welcome to the deadliest library in the world, apparently. No, that would probably be Madame Curie's um uh, library. All right. Well, that was my turn. Apparatus is your turn. Actually, yeah. generally, why do libraries want to kill us? <laughs> yeah. So you hear Zoria says, "What Just the fuck?" Comes out of price. <laughs> yeah. You hear Zoria say, "What the fuck?" Apparatus is gonna just take a. Calling breath, turn to flame wing, fl what, what, flame wind, flame wind, flame wind, and just say, "Let's cut to the chase. Which books do we need to get?" I cannot answer that for you," she says. "Only I can say the riddles." Not time to be cryptic. In this place, time is. Not a thing. It's meaningless. Oh, really? Oh, God. Why you sound so exasperated when you said we'd had this discussion before? <laughs> what questions have we all already asked before? I know, as a player, I know I'm not going to get that get that answer. But she doesn't say, but she just sighs. It's still something the apparatus would say. She sighs. <sighs> Worth a shot. And in that case, Abrodus is gonna move to here. And you see this, like, this mummy-like thing covered in papers? I am being tested today. <laughs> oh, it's some um, paper mummy? I always thought, I, I thought it was, like, some, like, Golem made of scurrions. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I a, like, thing is some dwarven centurion yeah, from, some, like, some lanky Skyrim or mummy, Tall, lanky mummy thing. <laughs> I described it before. Is, is there something inside of it? You don't know. Well, I'm just saying, if there's there's no body inside, it's not a mummy. It's just a paper that's call. true, that's true. Um, what do mummies want with us anyway? It's like other undead, it's, it's understandable. Zombies want to eat my brains. Vampires want to drink my blood. Mummies want to... It, mommies want mommies want you to get the fuck out of their tomb. <laughs> All right, Apprise, what do you want to do? You, you, you see, park. you see this, uh, you see this construct, um, and um, so like, drink. honey, yes. What would you like? Um, Apprise is then going to. 
Hold on, back up this page. I, I was right here, right? Yeah. Okay. The giant shark skeleton, Ten. okay. I heard Zoria basically go, ow, what the fuck? So 15, 20, 25, 30. And then you hear from Apparatus, once once the flying scroll kind of comes into view, just like, <laughs> Flying scrolls, but yeah. Flying papers, paper you name storm. it. Measure, measure, cone, I'm cone to green. No. How do I do a stop by? Here we go, layer stuff. How do I do the cone again so that it's the width uh, is equal to length? Uh, give me a moment. Uh, go to shape and go to cone in the measure. Yeah. Room. Okay. Yeah, but I can't choose base, you know, because it's not a 45 degree angle. You can set the degree. 5 e yeah, yeah. cone angle. Okay, it, uh, it's in measure, it's in cone degree when you, when you click on it's, cone. Yeah, we got Just three. over 53 degrees. Block width with height. It's a, it's a 2D space, so I really can't say. Okay. I can hit everything. You know what that means? Essence Prism. Uh, how would Essence Prism get through uh, get through cover? Does it get through cover? Yeah. Yeah. That's how Remember, we hit the uh, train the conductor. The train conductor. <laughs> <laughs> who That's was in a steel box. Oh, yeah. A sealed steel box, my man. Yeah, in, until... Uh, you and Zoria decided to go full on can opener <laughs> while invisible and like yes, the, sword... the can opener. <laughs> well, the sword Woo! was invisible, but that doesn't mean that it stopped shedding the moonlight stuff. So I'm just picturing like this poor conductor, this this under conductor going, "What the fuck is this?" As the as the the as I'm the supposed to be the scary start, one. <laughs> just start to suddenly start opening from nothing. Metal upon metal sawing sounds while this just like disembodied bluish glow just goes up and down and up and down and up. <laughs> Basically, like a lightsaber, but without the central part. It's like, I'm supposed to be the scary one here. What is this about? <laughs> okay. Essence Prism is a second level spell. Constitution? Go down there. Yeah, DC 18. Uh, let me take a uh, quick look. Okay, so, uh... Oh. The idea that you're just, like, standing under under the mummy, under the paper golem's armpit or something, <laughs> just to hit his hand. Okay, what? Okay, <laughs> tell me what you're hitting. Or show me what you're hitting. All of them. Both of our enemies. Wait, wait, shit, let me check the range again. 30 feet. Okay. Okay. I believe both the flurry of writing and the books fail. As yeah, I could, hit all, I could hit everything. Oh wait, are you firing from there? Yeah. I see you standing in the paper golem space. Yeah, an 18. That paper golem thing uh, rolled an 18. Damn! It rolled half, so that means half damage, so better than nothing. Yeah, but I also don't get to learn okay. stuff. Or ignore its resistance this next round. Don't forget to uh, add the D8 because of Arcane Firearm. Okay. Um, but I also need uh, to know the resistances and immunities of the flying scrolls. scrolls. The, book. the scroll store. Bo uh, books. Books. What, books do do condition immunities count? Yes. All right. I just copied and pasted the... Uh, the swarm, uh, the swarm books, the swarm of flying books. I think it's funny is the fact that Apparatus doesn't know they're there, but like as he shoots it, he's like, you get the scrolls yeah, they... and the paper flying, yep. and obviously you get books, and just like, wait, what? <laughs> Apparatus once again basically says the equivalent of the Lord has tested me today. <laughs> Books, obviously. 
fat damage vulnerability and doing this through the now no longer a switchboard it's more like a chat room yeah um damage <laughs> vulnerabilities <laughs> fire obviously immunities poison and psychic later. obviously conditioned immunities charm is up obvious shit admittedly i was more looking forward to the amount of damage i was going to do with this does it have fire uh, vulnerability yes Sorry, was it oh, I forgot to, to apply the resistances to the flurry of writing, so whoops. Ooh, it has resistance to all bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing, not yes. just um Yes. Not just ma non magical ones? Okay. I forgot to oh. Yeah, I oh. forgot to apply that. Whoops. So it, it, well, uh, so, it, uh, so Ape no, retro Remember their abilities. Yeah, Ape. Yeah. <laughs> so after factually you find that uh, that we, when you slice through that flurry of writing. It's a little resistant than you uh, than you thought, or for being such uh, things made of paper. Um, there's a reason why paper cutting is one of the is a good test for the sharpness of a blade. Um. Okay, and then that's. <laughs> Dice roll. To the scrolls, it should be. Oh, whoops, wrong one. I did plus four, not forty eight. So, okay, yeah, basically. I'll just use that eight as the arcane firearm bonus. Yep. Uh, oh, this well, is that... what this is what everyone else takes. That's twenty four so, for the. Uh... This takes twenty four. This takes sixteen. This takes eight. Okay. Yeah. Um. The uh, uh one uh, the uh, the swarm book uh, uh, uh the uh, swarm of books goes down in radiant flame. At least it wasn't me this time. And you now know the resistances and vulnerabilities and immunities of the uh, of the paper uh, animated books and paper. You're pretty sure you can get some, something similar with uh, with this uh, with this um, golem, considering that it looks like it's made out of paper. Yeah, but it's also the only solid thing that isn't fluttering around. Good thing uh, our our. Neighborhood Paladin does fire damage on his weapon. I mean, good thing yeah. for for everyone but Apparatus, who's probably going to have the Warforge equivalent of a stroke. <laughs> He's going to have to deal yeah, with it, because you know what? This is self-defense, man! Yeah, they have to deal with it. They, they have to deal with it. Anyway, yeah, as, that you be all, as you all do, uh... Um, oh shit, what's it called? Uh... Basically, you all go bane on the poor on the poor things. Would that be your turn? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have any fire reactions. I'm ready. I'm ready. Whimper is just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Whimper. Now your turn. Okay, so when apparatus went to Stormwind and asked her where the books were, she said that she's the one who has to ask the question. But then she didn't ask a question. I think she's at the end of the round, Nathan. There's more at the end of the round. Maybe you could ask her to give us a uh, I mean, I guess that could be how it works, but technically speaking, she's not on the initiative tracker, so like... Yeah, she's either initi she's initiative zero. I mean... Connor. Yes. Could you answer my question, please? What's... Okay. What is it? All right. Apparatus at Thornwind, where the books were. Flame wind. Oh! Flame wind. And she said that she has to ask the questions. But then she didn't ask a question. And then he just left and did another thing. Which is weird, because I asked a question and she answered it. Well, did you ask what books you had to kill? Mm 
Because he, he went right to the chase. No, I asked if the Guardians were the ones we had to deal with to help uh, dismantle the artifacts. And she said, no. Okay. And said, basically said it's books we're looking for. And so why I ignored the Guardian and went towards where the artifacts are. So I'm, I'm going to approach Flamewind and um, since everyone else is fighting books, which seems really weird, <laughs> but there is some insinuation that books is what it is. After she has said that, I'm, I'm going to Wimper is going to say to her okay, tell me your riddle you lady sphinx so I can um, have a thinx. <laughs> she kind of like, she kind of like looks at you and says, "I'm going to roll." Okay, as a DM, I'm going to roll a D4. Roll me a persuasion because uh, are, you, are you going to use an action to basically basically influence her to tell the rid one of the riddles early? I, basically, until you said that, I didn't know that there was an early for telling the riddles. Like I, yeah, I, I don't know what's actually going on. Uh, he literally ask. He rolled She's at the end of initiative. Yeah, I must have missed that particular thing. What I <laughs> at the end of the round, it's gonna be hints. Yeah, she'll give out more riddles at the end of the round. That's what I've been saying. No, actually, you have only now yeah. just said that explicitly. No, he said that earlier. You weren't paying attention. No, no, no. If he said that her turn in the initiative was at the end of the round. That is not... She will... Riddles at the end of the round. No, he no, said he, both he, of that. At the he very beginning. Okay, then I... It, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. It. You, you missed it? I, I had to make it clear. My apologies. I mean, I, I've asked other questions about things, and, like, none of them... Half the time, they don't get answered, so, well, like... Because yeah. he doesn't have answers for your questions. Yeah, but he didn't say that he doesn't have an answer. He for literally that said it. No, no, no. Some of my questions, he did not say that. They just got ignored. Mm. I mean, so looking at the uh, the tracker, though, I, I mean, yeah, there's a few things that are going to happen between her and my turn. So, yeah, I guess I will try to get it out early so that we can have two to be working on next round. Anyway, um... Persuasion, you say? Persuasion, yeah. I'm not terrible at that. It, it could be worse. It could be apparatus crime. <laughs> and a negative one. 20. She looks at you, uh, and... And, and she says, when round turned once, you shan't get in unless I am turned around again. And you kind of hear her voice echo in the library. So we've got a spin to walk into the thing. Beyblade, Beyblade, let her rip. <laughs> All right. So, uh, tell, uh, uh, asking, uh, trying to influence things your way is, is an action. So, yes, you, you have your bonus action and some of your movement left. What do you want to do? I used my full movement. Oh, you did? Okay. Then you're Actually, I guess I technically didn't. I do still have 10 feet of movement, but I'm going to stay here for the moment. Okay. Okay, on to the monsters. Alrighty, would that be your turn? Yes. Alrighty, it's now the flurry of writing uh, thing. It is going to give you a, a move edge closer to you, Abe, and give you a, a bunch of paper cuts. Well, as long as it doesn't do a thousand of them, you should be fine. Let me quickly check a spell. Uh, 16. Your hellish rebuke, I assume? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, uh, boy! Yeah, he has to hit me. It, 
which is a no. <laughs>
Well, that would be fun. These things don't take as much damage, so swinging a sword is not going to be very useful against them. That's just how to use my phone. How do these guys do against the cold? Um, they're not resistant towards it. Okay. Time to see if paper can get frostbite. Frostbite? Yes. Does the con the save for you? The flurry, uh, the flurry of writings get uh, get uh, needs to roll a con save, right? Yep. Remember, is I could use nightmare usage. Wow. Uh, three. Just. It's not this paper storm's day. <laughs> No, it isn't. Okay. So I guess it take 2d6 for rust damage. Uh, six. Six points. Yeah, frost builds up. Uh, you mind a few words, and the frost builds up on the uh, papers. Yeah, and more and more of the papers just flutter down to the ground. Oh. Um, I just thought of something that, again, the apparatus will not like. Paper doesn't do too well when it gets wet. All you're hearing from the from apparatus's end of the uh, of the group of the mental group chat is just sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Warforged can cry? Yeah, if you burn all their fucking books. Hmm. No, oh, that is my turn. Okay. Uh, is that that's a turn? Okay. Zorius, now your yeah. turn. I want to climb up the bookshelf. Okay, you uh, climb up the bookshelf. Uh, do you cl climb up, which is half your speed, or do you like run up? I, I, I use my monk running up things ability and run up it. Okay, you're now. I feel like since I'm between it, it's I'm technically running up it, but I'm parkouring at the moment because I mean that. Really, if you think about just... it, the bookshelf is a ladder. Yeah. Anyway, you're on top of the bookshelf now. Just not always a well-anchored one. Right. Looking around, like, do I see anything out of the ordinary in this library? Well, aside from the, uh, from, the <laughs> uh, from the from the machines, uh, the, the things that are not originally here, like, like, except for the huge scroll monster and the scrolls attacking Abe, is there anything out of the ordinary? Oh, and the, uh, the red area where the artifacts are. Is nope. there anything else out of the ordinary? Nope. Uh. Uh. Hoping to get some type of. Yeah, but... Why must you wound? 
<laughs> For every book that's destroyed, Apparatus is going to be casting Power Word Kill on the fake Provost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zoriot, that's I believe that's most of your movement. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, with can can you just solutions? hold on? You're giving us riddles in a fight. I need to figure out what the hell. The, I'm so bad at riddles. I'm trying. Uh, if you're having struggle, uh, you're struggling. You Player can. Player is so bad at riddles. Am I supposed to wait until my turn to like try to tell people what I think the answer is? You can go ahead and roll mm -hmm. a. Uh, you an, an, or should I just one. try to like shout them out? now um you can you can go ahead and uh like roll me intelligence uh check for uh for the uh when turned round and uh uh once and um yeah so for the first one that she says that is either intelligence check with of either oh, hold on but Nathan Nathan no. has an Nord. answer i think i have an answer okay can you sure. just say it out loud to the group um yeah go ahead and do it uh do it if you want whimper uh, the the first riddle. I think we need to find a book that is locked up, because the locks turn, and and the second book is is uh, do 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 humans write names on their cairns? What? Their cairns, really... the rocks they put on the dead. Yes, tombs tombstones. Yes. Okay, we need to find a book that is in a grave. Okay. Apparatus' yeah. respect for Whimper just went way up. <laughs> first of all, first of all... <laughs> Maybe they are connected. We have to go back through the door. It's probably locked. And find a grave. <laughs> I, I am intentionally coming to a wrong conclusion. O obviously, we need to find a book about these subjects. But... Whimper's not that smart. Uh... <laughs> Well, okay, so... An apparatus should know his way around here so he can help us find sections. There is there a lock, like an area where there's, like, books locked up, like, enclosed? Um... You're not quite sure, or could be, or could be part of a name of a book. Your wisdom and your intelligence... Apparatus and Zoya are high enough that you could figure out it could either be a physical characteristic or the or part of a name of a book. Um, how familiar is Apparatus with Morgan University and its library? It, uh, you should be fairly familiar. So most of the books are not are, are don't have any uh, don't have like locks unless you you, ha you have to really look. The books in this library are seem to be rather ordinary. So names might do the trick. So something to do with the tombstones or for what of what for weapons answers or a lock or yeah. Or uh, a lock or a book about locks? Um apparatus I can I can go ahead and roll me intelligence a check sure. of either Smiths or, so... or Smiths, Thieves or Tinko's tools. What? No, this is my. It's, it's still my turn. Yeah. So uh, Zoya, so, go. Yeah, go ahead and roll me and tell us and check with advantage because, and I'm lowering the difficulty on this one because, uh, Wemper has got the right idea for uh, for at least one of the riddles and the and the uh, uh, uh and the uh, and the other one. So. Team. What's what's the uh, what's the uh, check? You said intelligence. You told me to roll an intelligence check. All right, was apparatus, Zoria. Yeah. You kind of like number got cut off. Yeah. Uh. Uh. The thing they. Uh. What you. What you two got together is that the. Uh, the, the answers to the rid uh, to these two riddles are a key, and either and and for the other one, a cemetery, a grave, tomb, or something similar. So look for a book. A that, book about um, keys. Books on this. Yes. And then a book about graves. Yes. So I got a twenty-nine. Um, do I get advantage as well or not? At this point, you probably don't need to. But go <laughs> ahead. Yeah. 
Uber fishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So you're either looking for a, a book with the with the word key on it, like the the t uh, title of it having key, and the other like tomb, cemetery, grave, or something. So, oh, so you need to look for specific books to take care of. I'm any chance in the city records section. I guess I'm just going to literally just jump down. All right, I'm going to roll three d six points of blunching down. No, you're not. Nope. Oh, right, <laughs> bunk. <laughs> and um. Would Epperness know what sections of this library that we should go to? Kind of, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to keep it uh, keep it a, uh, a bit streamlined to have you uh, just look for the book with the investigation check. Oh, basically, what I was going to do is have Epperness use just my tell action the to look what direction for... the section is. Uh, uh, look for the book. Go ahead and roll me an investigation check. All right. Investigation. This turn got a little messy. I wasn't in here for all of it. Fifteen. Uh, da, 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 da. all right. What book are you looking for? Which can book? Can I give the help? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, wait. You you can only help on a, uh, on an action or or on an action. That that's not a reaction. It's what Thought Slinger does. Wait, Thought Slinger is a is a reaction. Mm -hmm. It gives me a reaction help to use in combat. Okay. Okay. That's go right ahead. That's the range ahead. of my. Yep. Yeah. Go right ahead and roll again, um, Zoya. That's a nineteen. Yeah. Uh, with a little bit of help from like uh, helpful messages from uh, from Abe in your mind, you're able to find a book called Dash Dan uh, uh, Getting uh, Dan Against Keys uh, to Excavation. So, you see exertion or excavation? keys of ex. ex yeah, any here? Um, for anyone say just destroy the book. I'm supposed to destroy more the sobbing, book. More mental sobbing from apparatus. Well, I destroy the book. Yeah, I'm going to say you can use your bonus action with your unarmed strike just, to just like rip the book. <laughs> Yeah, you can get the book with you with your uh, bonus uh, with your uh, because you're a monk. You can use your bonus action to make your unarm attack. Or punch yeah. it in the. Can't think of just, book and anime at the moment. Chicken more of just <laughs> ripping the book. Yeah, bonus action just or like, like punch it to the front. Rip. Yeah, <laughs> you you ripped out uh you ripped the book apart, and the uh and the um the arcane field behind you um Zoria, starts to weaken shimmering. Like the uh, shimmer and and, and weaken, and here Flame says one down, three to go. Uh, I I will just yell out to everybody. We need to find the books that connect to the riddles and destroy them. Hello, uh, um, Flame One's gonna be just like the video game HUD set ding like. You found the objective. <laughs> when realistically, it should take a lot more to know what the objective is. <laughs> it's my turn. Is that is that your turn? Yeah. After right, it's now your turn. Oh, yeah, it is excavation. Um, I'm gonna go search for the book as well. You got a book. Okay, go ahead and roll me an investigation check as your action. Because you're interact, because you're interacting with an, oh, you're using an object to find the, to find the book, and you're and you're searching. Yeah, you definitely, uh, yeah, you definitely uh, found the other book related to a tomb. Um, um, where, what direction do I need to move for that? You don't need to. I'm, I'm making it simple for, uh, uh to make the, to make these a little less frustrating. Oh, cool. that means no Getting just stupid items. lucky, and they're right next to us. Lauren the Morgraves <laughs> excavation of Alden's tomb. tomb. 
Great apparatus, you gotta destroy a book. You use your use your <laughs> action. You, uh, you only have your bonus action left. Yeah, I, the only thing I can do with a bonus action is shoot with my turret. And you don't have your turret out. Correct. Next, because oh. Junior was in flamethrower mode though. Hey <laughs> Junior, eat a book. <laughs> Consume some knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, wait, um, as part of the investigation action, can I also just grab the book and... Yeah, that's what it? you did, that's what you did. Can I chuck it? Um, no, you, you got the book and you, because you were looking for the book and you grabbed it, that's your action. You can you need to, uh, you need to use uh, another action on, on your, on another turn to chuck it at, at someone or to just destroy the book with... With anything really. Okay. I think I know what I'm gonna do next round. Would that be your turn? Yeah. Whimper. Oh. It's now your turn. Um, do they need help finding any of those books? We found the two books. Apparatus hasn't been able to destroy the second book, but I was able to destroy the first one. Is apparatus currently located at where it is on the map? Yeah, he's where he is. Yeah. Oh, yep. here they are. Oh, currently. Did you dash? Yes. Okay. So that's your uh, so that's your action and your movement. And, and like, I'm kind of just like dashing at apparatus, just like with my mouth, just like fully open. <laughs> oh! So like if, if, if there's just like randomly a book there, like I'm, I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna um, let me take a look at how <laughs> I. Look, apparatus here is, you know, someone in full plate, <laughs> <Barely, laughs> sprinting <laughs> around the library on all fours. Yeah, all fours. <laughs> Mouth open, <laughs> just kind of instinctively like back away. <laughs> Are you swinging the book in front of you? <laughs> no, no. The plan is I'm gonna I'm gonna cast catapult <laughs> on it. A literal pull. <laughs> no, no, even better. I'm gonna throw the book at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, will that be your turn? Yeah. Okay, so now the Flurry's turn. Uh, Flurry of Riding turn. It's going to try to attack you again, Abe. Let's see if this guy has a better day. Then I'm going to make it a lot worse for him. Alright, just double check it. Abe wanting to be hit by a. 22. <laughs> that does be my armor class this time. And it will have two points of uh, slicing damage as it, as it leaves you behind some like pretty nasty uh, paper cuts on your skin and on your coat. And that was a good coat too, damn it. Okay, I don't see how paper's cutting that record. It, I was going to use others for rebuke, but I just kind of feel bad for this paper storm. <laughs> 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 Do it. Roll uh, roll okay. the decks. Uh, right. roll, uh, so it's a roll dexterity saving throw. Yep. Yeah. Well, dexterity saving throws. Eleven. How would you nope. describe your spell? Your how would you describe Hellish Book? Because of you because the origin of your We did the so just, flaming just, eyes. Flaming eyes and then the uh roaming damage. That's a super four D ten. That's nineteen fire damage. Yeah, that. Bur yeah, you see, there's like a like a like a uh, ISRN like, uh, uh, like figure over your head, and it shoots like a beam of oh, a beam of fire at the uh, flying papers, and the papers just like. Burst no, into it's the ice storm into that the cow rocks have. That was a on fire when I looked at the picture. So it's like, hey, want to do that for health speed? Boy. No, he's dead. 
Pretty it's dead. Yeah, it it burned. Sorry. Okay. It is now the uh, the uh, the paper golem's turn. It is going to cast. Uh, it's going yeah, it is going to cast um uh, like uh, uh like light uh, like lightning appearance in his hands and apparatus whimper Zoya Abe I would like each of you to roll me a deck save. A chain lightness or something. Apparatus is within my thing and has plus three on his save. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good thing too. Okay, Jack save. I got twenty. Okay. Uh. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll damage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, so who succeeded? So Wimper succeeded. Who else succeeded? Ape uh, uh, succeeded. <laughs> Zoya. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Zoya. Oh. Zoya, apparatus. Said, hold on. I got God a nineteen. Damn. I had you to go to the out. bathroom. You no, I was thinking, we don't have to search for the other books if we just burn down the whole library. <laughs> okay, okay. Food, food for okay. thought. No, motherfucker, <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's hoping everything I, gets I, back at the end of I, this. <laughs> I will I will let Sharn just get destroyed first. <laughs> anyway, that also ends in the library being destroyed. <laughs> 24. Yeah, but you're not doing it. <laughs> you take no down, Zoria, as you, like basically dodge uh, the lightning, like uh, you're, like you're in the Matrix. The rest of you, you you barely were able to dodge the lightning. Uh, thanks. Uh, so you take half damage of eighteen points 18. of lightning damage. <laughs> Only another three levels till I don't do that. <laughs> Or no, evasion doesn't work on this kind of spell. Is it target it, spell? No, it's a deck save. Oh, I always thought evasion was like aura, area of effect. Alrighty. Oh, anyway, half damage, right? Rounded down on. So it's. I need to listen more. So what? All right. Eighteen. And that will be its turn. And Flame One says, I follow, but can never stay. I grow longer through the waning day. Shadows? Yes. That sounds about right. Yeah. It's a very simple one. Oh, well, wait, 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 wait. Isn't one of the Dark Six the Shadow? Yeah. Maybe it's about that. And she nods when when Apparatus uh, uh, answer, uh, answers the question. She nods with a smile. No. Which god was it the shadow of? Shadows. No, no, no. But I mean, there's like a <laughs> one of the dark six is literally one of the sovereign host's shadows. I just don't remember which one. Uh, god of magic. Or which one's the god of magic? Yeah. Orion. Yeah. Orion. Yeah. There we go. They gotta have a book about Arion's shadow in here. Whimper would have no clue about that, but <laughs> yeah, Apparatus, you know the name of the book, Arion's Shadow. But anybody with like any remote knowledge uh, of like where, religion where's or magic Whimper would... from? Drone? That's a good question. Where are you from? Uh, Whimper probably would know, actually. Wimper would probably not know it in the context of Orion's shadow. Also, yeah. Wimper is Wimper is an anti-theist. That's an interesting scene for a paladin. I'm just saying, in a, in, a, in a typical mm -hmm. deity setting, that's that's interesting. But this is Abron. Yeah, Wimper's culture will bend the knee to no being. 
<laughs> and will actively seek to destroy any being that seeks to enslave lesser beings. You say anti gods, gods exist, and it's Wimper and his tribe's job to kill them. <laughs> that would He's put you at odds with Moser Droam. <laughs> no. We don't mess around with each other. A god of corruption, ambition, and dark magic, the Shadow is the patron of evil spellcasters and many monstrous races throughout Droam. Maybe Wimper's tribe's just a little too scary to mess with. <laughs> Alrighty, that will be... I'll be they, us. They, they, turn, they, they turn a chase scene while, while a city's falling apart into a Waffle House incident. So... Is that? Feeling hey, it's now your turn. Asking that question. All right, I'm gonna search for the other book. Oh, hey, it's right. Abe's turn, not yours. Oh, sorry. That's All right. Um. How close do I have to be to ask a question? What? What is it you're asking? I just want to get the last riddle out now, so we can focus on that too. Yeah, you can try. You can use her action to try to persuade her to get to get a, uh, a widow out of her. Yeah. That was my plan. Might as well put the plus thirteen to use, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, we're on a bit of a roll. What's the last riddle? We'll get this out of the way. And we're roll? all out of here. You need to tell me what the what the real uh, what the riddle is. Well, I, I wanted to talk first, <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Here's the rule. Make sure you. Make sure you speak in rhyme when you talk to her. Sphinxes love that. <laughs> um, they do not love laser pointers. <laughs> or maybe they do. Do Sphinxes like laser pointers? Because I can totally imagine her getting distracted by Essence Prism. <laughs> <laughs> lasers, la right, lasers go out and suddenly the Sphinxes' pupils dilate all the way. All right. So, what you all for? All right. Uh, what do you What are you gonna say first, Abe? Uh, we're on a roll, so give us the last riddle so we can reach our goal. Ooh, nice. <laughs> anyway, sixteen plus thirteen, so that's twenty nine. Twenty nine. For the living to offense, a murder could be found perchance. Uh, what was the first line? Uh, for, for the living... living to advance, a murder could be fun for chance. Fun for chance? Per chance. I think a murder mystery book. Or we find uh, an old newspaper about the. about copper. <coughs> oh, the archive yeah. here? <laughs> that poor bastard. You know, is archive but, here? But it, it has archive? to be a fun murder. A murder mystery. Um, if you like... Fun murder, like, if you, like what Apparatus almost did to that foreman? If you like, <laughs> you can go ahead and roll with me either an animal handling check with intelligence or a nature check, also with intelligence. Wait a minute. Wait, Wait no, okay, that, that, that just confirms my stupid hypothesis. Murders what? aren't fun, but birds are fun. Oh. Ravens. Crows. Crows, I'm sorry. Whatever, mm. the blackbirds. Well, they're both black birds. I know. <laughs> yeah. Point. Okay, that's your action, Abe. What do you want to do? Um. I'm yeah, around. it's an unkindness of ravens. Yeah. Oh. I'll have to move around here to help. Which is weird because, out. in my experience, ravens are very kind. The ones I talked to were pretty nice. I mean, then I gotta also I feed ravens walnuts. So. This the. That provides well uh, whimper advantage, right? This side, or is that just apparatus? I always forget how big creatures work. I don't know. So, Abe, would that be your turn? Somebody answered my advantage question. Uh, advantage on what? Yeah. I'm trying to Slinking. give whimper advantage. Yeah, you, you can are help. In the right spot. I'm in the right spot. You are in the right spot. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Well, now that's my turn. Also, I don't think I can run or, around and snatch a book. Regarding regarding Wimper's anti-theism, Wimper 
is not a paladin. Whimper is a query, which is only being mechanically represented by the paladin class. In this instance, sometimes they are rangers. And maybe blood hunters. And maybe blood hunters. All right, so. Zoya, it's now your turn. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to technically move my character, but this is me looking for a book. Go ahead and use an action to roll an investigation. For either Orion Shadow or the other book. Book, book of Crows? Happened. Yeah, Book of Crows. Just see what we find. It's a 16. Uh, 16... Yeah, 16 uh, works as you find uh, Arion's shadow. I will literally in the, the view of apparatus rip the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Staying completely silent. <laughs> I will just uh, rip the book. I'll rip the book and then I'll look over at apparatus. And if he makes a face, then they'll just shrug and drop the book on the ground. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, the uh, the field uh, <laughs> the field starts to fade even even more, and you hear this thing saying two down, two to go. And I'll be like, just rip the oh. book, destroy it, god damn it. Let Wimper tear it apart. <laughs> Something. Alrighty, would that be your turn? Would that be your turn, Zoria? That's all the actions you can take. Yeah, that's all that I can do. Apparatus, now your turn. Apparatus takes several calming breaths while making some quiet sobs. <laughs> Opens the book and then rips. D doesn't rip any pages, but rip basically rips the spine in half, vertically. Okay, the book falls to the ground, and you hear uh, uh, Flame Moon says, three down, one to go. Technically, it did rip the pages. Well, um, oh, fuck, what, what, what's the... You just split them. <laughs> Why are you not saying these in rhyme? I think it is about time. <laughs> <laughs> Three down, one to go. Hurry up, you stupid hose. <laughs> Would that be your turn, apparatus? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No, basically, the, you know how like the pages in the book they're actually kind of clumped up. Yeah. Together. Yeah, he's going in between two different clumps. Um, apparatus. So, do, like, you ha ha do you have inspiration? Do you have, do you have an inspiration mm -hmm. point already? Uh, I don't think so. No, I do not. All right, you gain inspiration because uh, by overcoming your uh, bit of your flaws right there. <laughs> your your flaws to not hurt folks. No knowledge should be destroyed. Oh, no knowledge should be destroyed. Yeah, like you're you're very tempted yeah, with no knowledge should be destroyed. Um, will seek out knowledge even to the cost, even to the cost of themselves and others. Um, that's why, like back when we were. Um, in the Fey world with the uh, library. That's why Brad's was like, okay, I need everyone to make sure that I don't stay here. <laughs> Would that be your turn, Apparatus? Yes. Wimpers, now your turn. Um, is the fourth book that. out and about yet, or have we not grabbed it off the shelf yet? You haven't got it off the shelf. Alright. Um, so, investigation check. I mean, no, I guess... I, I don't know how to search around in a library. Uh, Wimper does not know the Dewey Decimal System. Oh, um, you've got advantage on attacking the big paper golem, so... I so do have advantage have on blast. attacking the big paper mache. I, um, I, I do need to know, what about the Huey and the Louie Decimal Systems? Um, <laughs> before, before you do so, <laughs> do, you have any, do you have any spells that has fire damage, I think, I think, Wimper? Duck, I think DuckTales Is did that. that in the library. No, it does radiant. Any spells oh, at all? Radiant? Oh, that, that, really? I thought I thought, I thought the dragon were... fire axe did fire. Okay, so it's it's the dragon's wrath axe, and it can no. do any type of damage that a dragon can do. 
But you have to choose one, and it stays. Left. Well, no. When you find it, that's what it is. Yeah, and that's what I meant by you need to choose it. Yeah. When you get started. Alrighty. So whimper. If you if you want. Oh, okay. Go ahead and roll. Uh, make it. Don't attack. you have? Do you have wrathful smite? That's I psychic. Actually, I actually Brandon. don't have any smite spells prepared because they're typically not actually that good to use. Uh, I don't have any spells good. prepared. I don't give a shit. They're all going to smite anyway. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm going to Hunter's Mark, the paper. Okay, how would you describe your Hunter's Mark again? Oh, if only I can see it. Oh, how no, would you yeah. describe it? I don't even remember. I'm sure I did it before, but it just it's just like an intense focus, an intense hatred. This paper is clearly a fiend. A burning hatred, you might say? <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. anyway, Whimper, you can... You, still you doesn't can... do fire damage, but it's still a burning 27 hatred. hits. <laughs> Alright, and then it also does an additional... Is the, the weapon additional damage an 8 or a 6? A d6. Okay. So it deals an additional 2d6 damage. So, six of that is radiant. The rest of it is magical yeah. slashing. So uh, uh, you, you, slash, you tore through some of the uh, some of the papers. Um, let me check and see if it has it has any resistances. Okay, uh, you're good. Uh, seventeen misses barely, as you as you as you try for try to go for another swing, and wait, wait, he's did you roll with advantage for the attack? Yes, uh -huh. yeah, he's doing that, yeah. And it, it, and it just like ducks as you try to go as you try to go for its head. The second one I rolled in a natural one and an eight with advantage. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's the Levi. Anyway, would that be your turn? I yeah. actually can't get upset with what you just said because I say murky buckets as a play on messy Boku. Anyway, um... <laughs> and dank memes from Dankashun. Yeah, so anyway, so, Abe, you start to feel a little sick to the stomach as like uh, as this paper-like um, figure of uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, this, uh, this construct Oh, waves his hand around it, and I would like you to roll me a constitu constitution saving throw. Oh no, the paladin must make a con saving no, throw. Oh, wait, no, I said no, train. I'm the one oh, doing eight. it. Shit. Um, oh, by the way, um, special thing? Oh, by the way, uh, Wimper, you and take... Just out of it. Uh, by oh. the way, Wimper, you take 11 poison damage. I would like you to roll me a constitution saving throw. I'm taking 11 points and then making a con save, or I'm making a con save to determine whether or not I take 11 points. No, you take 11 poison damage, and then you must make a constitution saving throw to see if you're poisoned. Okay. I like the poison condition. Let me rephrase that. I like inflicting Eight, the poison 18. condition. 18. Uh, you start, <laughs> uh, some dust got, in, got into your nostril, and you feel a little uh, nauseous, but you may, you're fine. Hey, did that thing shit itself? That's nasty. And, and I also maintain concentration. That's right. Come on, stay on. All right, so uh, okay. so Abe, what'd you roll? And uh, does 23 succeed? It does. So I'm going to roll the full damage and then round it down. And then like <laughs> half. <laughs> Another oh, 18 points of um, necrotic damage as you feel really sick to your st uh, stomach. As ne necromantic energy <laughs> washes over you, draining draining more sure from your uh, from, uh, from a bit of your body, but you're able to withstand it. You you look a little more gaunt now. How many okay? How many hit points are you at right now, Abe? Just want to make sure. Eight took... six. Yeah, that is a lot. I've lost almost forty hit points. Abe, now it's your turn. And two. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Um. 
Do that count as an attack? What does? No, a blight. Uh, it, 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 it's a spell, so no. Yeah, it's not oh, a spell. Oh, well, actually, attack. it doesn't matter. It, I, I just have to be damaged. Damage? Like, regardless if it's an attack or not? I, I, a creature that damaged you. Okay, it's gonna have to make a deck save. Oh, I thought it had to be an attack. Nope, it is damage only. Oh, da if I... Sixteen. That, I it's a, it, it was sixteen, but but first, I, it had needs to roll. It has to roll the advantage. It rolled a five and a sixteen. Sixteen doesn't make it. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. My save seventeen. Barely. So he gets to take a bunch of d10s. Alrighty, four d10. Let's see. Six, six, three, twenty-five fire damage. It takes fifty. This guy on the ground. It takes fifty points <laughs> of fire damage. As it, like it starts to burst into flames from the uh, from the evil Cyron eye. A storm of flaming eye. Of flaming eyes. Anyway, it's your turn now. All right. Uh, I'm out of spell, so that'll be fun later. Unless this resets it afterwards. So, let's... <laughs> oh, this guy's using sort of mildew and poison spores to do this. Kind of want to water him down. <laughs> See if that stops the poison stuff. Is that worth it or just nah? You know what? I want him to make a wisdom safe. Wisdom safe? Yep. What are you trying to do? I'm gonna use nightmare visage because it does not because it does work on constructs. It rolled an eight, even with advantage. Mm. Mm. So he gets to take two D four psychic. And he's blind. Oh, blinded? Okay. Wait, wait. Yep. Um so based on the uh, the immunities and resistances of the other things, they were immune to um, what's it called? Uh, psychic. No, it's not. It's okay, not. So this thing's not cool. Okay. He needs to take seven psychic damage, and he's blind. Yeah, it tries to like wave around as it like tries to look away from you. Until he and, and takes a hit. All right, would that be your turn? Uh, yeah, that's. I completely forgot about looking for books, so. Yeah, Zoria, it's your turn. It's the book. I'll just move my character a little bit to signify that I'm looking for a book. Okay, about go. Crows. Is that what we established? Prowls, ravens. Yeah. Go ahead and roll me an investigation check. 18. 18, you said. <coughs> no. Is that not enough? It is enough. Okay. What you, what you, what you find is Redix Ravens, a field guide to Corvettes of Corvair. Pull it out. Bitch. She said a murder, not an unkindness. Uh, What's the pull kindness? it out and tear it up. That's all the books. All right, I'm gonna like to switch music because I'm gonna turn towards turn towards the where the artifacts are. Alrighty, and before anything else, and, and before anyone else does something, as she turns. Uh, gotta like. There we go. There we go. Um. Uh, the collected knowledge found by ink to page and chief goes dormant once more. 
books fall to the ground and the wind of paper uh, dies. The quintessence at the rain falls harmlessly, inert. Uh, flame wind unfurls her wings and gracefully chomps down into the floor. I thank you, apparatus, Abe, Wimper, Zoya. No problem. My so I feel like if she knows our names, she would have addressed me by my actual name. So I'm not even gonna bother. She, she says your real apart. name, but, uh, but I'm not gonna bother saying it right now. Do you even remember? I remember. I, I vaguely remember. What is it, man? Gibson Barks. Uh, send me a message, and I'll, and I'll do it. It's Wimpekarash. Wimpekarash. Thank you. Wimpekarash. Wimpekarash. Oh, I thought, I thought it was literally... I think it's 47 seconds. My visions are a gift, but sometimes one I cannot escape. I was drawn to the conflicting energies of order and chaos, knowing the answers by restricted from providing them. I knew that you had a, a part to play in all of this. And so, the, door, uh, the Bronzewood doors open as the Fearbook Scholar and several other professors rush in to check on the books, Flamewind and the rest of you. And... No regrets. <laughs> 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 and all the regrets. And one of the professors. Like, literally, I have three books, three books that like around me that are just torn up. And one of the professors is like, the books. What? Using mending. No, I, I, what? Ah, the books. Are you alright? <laughs> and that project's like, I know they're not alright. I'm trying to fix them. <laughs> Walking out, <laughs> and one of the professors didn't like is I didn't even like English class anyway. <laughs> to be fair, and, every uh, library we've entered just tried to kill us. So poor fish, this one twice. <laughs> it's a different library, I think, but all the same. So, so, uh, oh, so one of the other professors, the, we field bug, one, uh, the, uh, the field bug, the field bug, notices you. Ap I think apparatus and um, the all of you like. You look, you look injured. You should, uh, you, know, you should take a breather and rest up. We've got like eight hours till the world ends. At yeah. this point. I mean, I, I guess we, uh, I just realized ten. we could have killed the monster, but not destroyed the last book. And then we would have had all the time. Ah. Uh. Yes. Unless it loops, and then we wouldn't have anything to do. So yeah, now apparatus is going to actually stop. So how many times were we in that loop? And Flamewind looks at you and says, "This was our first and only one. No other loops." As far as he said, we had this conversation a dozen times, though. Perhaps in other timelines, but perhaps that could look at the collegiate story at ripping the world apart. I hate time ship. Uh, it can give you a headache. Indeed. And Flamewind uh, just kind of like struts down the uh, hallway and flies off. Anyway, hey, well, shouldn't we shut down the magic death time machine? <laughs> it's it's already shut oh. down. I already picked it up and I was walking towards the entrance. Uh, like passing the, the guys that are like, the box! The box! It's like, I hate reading anyway. <laughs> so, anyway. Could you? We'd lose a lot more if we didn't shut them down. And one of the other professors says, huh, You're right. But you, uh, still, we have to think. It was uh, either think. the books or the world. That's fair. That's fair. We'll, just, we'll be able to fix the books ourselves. There's no need for uh, for you. He looks at you, you, apparatus, to fix the books. We can take care of that. It would, take, it would just take a lot of time. I was like, I just need to fix Man. this one. Because <laughs> this one was my doing. Okay, so you're going to spend a minute using mending to fix the book. Yeah. And by the way, do any of you still have your restorative ointments? This m might be a good time to use them. <laughs> I still have, have 10 Sorry, yeah, it's all of my I have all of the ointments. Yeah, and I've got, I've got two, two I bottles at take... full. I already have a bottle that is being that is used. It is has 
a missed charge missing, so let me use that before you use yours. Okay. Yeah. No, let's let's remove an equal amount of charges from all of them, so they'll all be at the same. I'm kidding. No. I'm kidding. Um. Uh, I could actually use a, a a nap. I am out of spells. How the fuck do you moisturize a warforge? The wood. How much time? You got about like eight hours left by the time you leave this place. And how long will it be take for us to get to? Uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Factoring the travel time. Flying. It, it would take the Wonka Vader. Uh Yeah, it is that nighttime? How long will it take us? Way. How it's... long will it take us to get to the? Final final boss area. <laughs> it's going to be really tough to get. There. It's going to be a little tough, so longer than an hour since you had to figure out every uh, everything. Uh, uh, everything. So along we the don't way. have time for a long rest, but we have time for a short rest. Yes. Damn, catnap is only for a short rest, not a long rest. If only you had the uh, potions from Baldur's Gate Three that lets you take a long rest uh, in a matter of seconds. That would be nope. very broken with a, a it's attack a kit. It's a very rare. It's a very rare potion. Oh, okay. That's Who was attacked? Uh, see, I'm uh, missing 20-odd points of hitting points. I am missing 42 points. Um, Don't forget okay, to use your token. Do, don't forget your master's tokens. Before you we use the tokens, give me a second. All right. Well, me, me, I will get my key back along with, um, Abe will get his spell slots back on the short rest. Yeah. Abe? Or, uh, okay, um, Apparatus? You have... What all you got for short rest? <laughs> um, my, uh, da, 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 da. Where's the message I sent? To you, apparatus. How much did you flash heal for? recall get, gets back. Yeah, I get flash recall back. So after this short rest and after you leave, you, you will have about seven hours left. Make sense? Yeah, we just gotta. I'm I'm I I put ointment on apparatus and he heals twenty. Did I say twenty two or twenty three? We've got hit dice two. I know, but before we use the hit dice, I want to use this specifically. Um, apparatus, you got... I think you said 23, but I can't remember. Yeah, tw 23 hit points. You heal 23. Yeah. Now I'm down 19. <sighs> All right, uh, Abe, you have twenty-seven. Twenty-seven hit points healed. Okay, that... I am now in the top. Now, um, I will hold on. <clears throat> I move this up into. I have I have several. Um, I have three more full charges of the ointment that I've had this whole time. Um, do you want me to use one more charge on you, apparatus, or do you want to roll for hit points? Uh, yes, please. How many hit dice can we roll during the short rest? Just one? Yeah, uh, you can as, as many as we want. As many oh, as you want. Okay. Then I will just um, use. I'm down dice. 31. Is there any more of that potion cream going around? I can give you some. How much are you? How much do you need? I'm short 31. Uh, 
what it is we did take were kind of big. Why didn't it heal me? What, short 27, rest? 27 to you, Nathan. Okay. Yeah, how much did you roll for it, Silicon? Uh, three. I'm not even gone there yet. D eight. Plus Constitution. Eighteen. So now I'm just down one hit point. Um, actually, you also add your uh, your Constitution modifier for the other um, uh, for the other dice. So that'll be. Oh, one... then I'm at max. Yep. As I'm casting Mending on myself. Yeah, that'll work for flavor-wise. Yeah, you're just like casting Mending. No, that's a thing that works. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, you're, full, you're back at full hit points. You have... Uh, Wait, let me check something real quick. Uh, before we do the short rest, I'm going to use Flash Repaul. What, what, what are you doing? Swapping out Catnap. Okay, for what? For something else? Mm, do you have Counterspell? Oh, oh let me check I, your spells. Uh, yes, I've got Counterspell prepared, I think. Yeah, you do. Okay. Catnap, haste. It rolled for me, but I'm not... I rolled already before I hit short rest. I want to do Dispel Magic. I did too. Not a bad idea. Uh, I'm in tip-top shape. I let everybody else. I'm I I just rolled um a hit die and I'm at max now. Yeah. Don't forget to use their manifest tokens, you have to eat each. Or yeah. would you like to share uh share the uh, tokens among yourselves? Fine right now. I don't need to use my tokens. Apparatus, would you like to use your tokens? Whimper, nah. Abe? What does the token do? Uh, um one ability, long rest re one we can recharge an ability that has a long rest recharge. For uh, a token, you can <coughs> do two abilities that take a short to recharge. Um, one warlock spell, one superiority dice, or four spell combined slots. four oh, spell oh. slots levels combined. Also, it does two key points, like arcane recovery. I don't really need that yet, especially yeah, since I, I got healed life. a little bit here. Yeah. So I got five spells I can use in this fight. Yeah, apparatus. Uh, you used up two spell slots, I believe. Is using them a, an action Excuse or a bonus action? Um, it's uh, a free action. Say. It, it, it's it's. I honestly, it's a free action. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. I can just save them for yeah. when I need to smite. Yeah. Get a few extra spells in. Yeah, I'll, I'll use mine to get a third level spell slot back and a first level spell slot back. Okay, that's one token down for you. You got two left. What are these tokens called again? Manifest, Manifest tokens. tokens. You have two left. Yep. Everybody gets three and it's here to recharge our primary abilities, mostly. Okay, so, um... Boss fight. <laughs> very soon. Maybe, uh, so maybe we'll wrap, we will end the session here for, uh, for next week. We'll get to the boss fight next week. So, how was it, everybody? How was it? So good. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you all, uh, you had fun. I'm, I'm, I re I really, I really am glad. Uh-oh. There we go. Um, sorry, I had a bit of a well, weird thing, so but that's that's fine. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be wrapping this up with with a bit of a raid. Let's see who we're gonna raid. We'll be raiding Shadow Smith one, and he is playing. I don't know what he's playing, but he pl he he's playing. Oh, Good Wars two. Yeah, let's let's give him let's give him a uh, let's give him a raid. So here comes the cavalry, everyone. Have a good day, everyone. See you next week, I hope. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.